Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Brooke, if you're new here. Today, we are gonna head over to Disney's Animal Kingdom. So I thought I would do like a quick little get ready for the park with me video. I wash my face, I have some moisturizer on there. I thought I would just go through like how I get ready for the parks. The only thing I'm missing is my SPF. So normally I put SPF underneath my moisturizer. I wash my face, this is actually something new that I'm using, this Cetaphil Gentle Clear Clarifying Acne Cream Cleanser. Feels really nice on my skin. Feels a lot more thick than just like their regular face wash. So I'm trying that out. I can't really recommend yet whether I like it or not, but it feels nice from the couple of times that I've washed my face with it. Then I used the Honest Hydration Mist. I really like Honest products. It smells so good. It smells like essential oils. It's just nice and light little hydration for my face. Then I used just the Everyday Honest Moisturizer. That's where I've gotten so far. Next, I'm gonna go, and I've used this before, and I've only done one Get Ready With Me video, so. I've used this, I used this before, and it's the Ola Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. So I'll put that on next. Just do a little bit and wrap it all in and I pull it all the way down my face. I really like Ola Henriksen products. I've used them for quite a few years ever since I started using Bare Minerals actually because I worked at a salon at the front register. <laughs> We sold a lot of Ola Henriksen and Bare Minerals and everything like that. So that's how I first got introduced to both of those products was while I worked there. Now this is all dried in. I'm going to use that Milani Conceal Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. Now I put it on like my thick little kabuki brush. A couple of drops like this. I'm just going to tap and then work it in. And I feel like it has really nice, sorry, I'm like looking just to make sure. Um, but I feel like it has really nice full coverage, but it's also really, really lightweight. I really, really enjoyed it. I don't normally use cream or liquid foundations uh, because I feel like they go on a lot of times super cakey or really thick and I'm not usually, I like the powder, but I realize my bare mineral powder stuff was just like, you could just see like my skin, it, I need to go and get like hydrofacial or something, take better care of my skin. But um, my skin is like pretty uneven, which I think this camera does a really good job, job of hiding that. I noticed that the bare minerals started showing off a lot more of the creases and just the unevenness of my skin. So I actually haven't used it in a little while. Super happy with this. And I got this, funny enough, at Publix. <laughs> I just like randomly, I, I've talked about it before, but like I'm not one that usually like switches up my routine and like goes out looking for new products very often because it's like, it's overwhelming to me because there's so much out there in the beauty market that it's a little bit overwhelming for me. <laughs> and so there'll just be like random times that I'm walking through Ulta or anything like that. And I just happened to be walking through Publix and noticed that brand Makeup Melter. I need to get more because it's like almost gone. I really like this stuff. Yeah, I was like randomly walking through Publix and just went to look at the beauty section and found this and was super intrigued. So thought I would just give the foundation a try too and turned out I really like it. I feel like this lighting in here is kind of bad. So sorry about that. I'll show in the more natural light. I'm not really one that does like a lot of con contouring and things like that for the parks because I just think that contouring and all the extra stuff is for like really elevated situations. Personally, not really for theme parks. I do it sometimes and you know, it just depends. For the majority of the time, I normally just do like a little bit of blush and maybe like a little bit of highlighter. So I've been using this Ace Beauté blush for quite a while. That was probably my last get ready with me, my only get ready with me. I use this palette. It's really pretty, nice and natural. Kind of mix the two lighter ones together. 
and just do a couple little and then like kind of bring that into my eyeshadow type thing So it's super, super subtle, just to look really natural. I like really natural looking makeup, of course. <laughs> While I was at Publix, I also got the Milani highlighter, really pretty and subtle. This is the color Rosa Romantica. And back into Super natural looking. Of course, I'm still using this Brow Master from Bare Minerals. I like it a lot. Okay. I would love to get micro bleeding. Oh, geez. There was a girl that I followed in Austin. Oh my gosh, seriously, what is wrong with you today? There's a girl in Austin that I followed her Instagram and she did microblading and oh my gosh, her results were like all the before and after she did, I was obsessed with, um, but never got around to doing it myself. I wanted to, like I would probably fly back to Austin to go to her. <laughs> because she was just so good. This color is chestnut for my brows. Oh my gosh, I feel like I got something in my contact. I've been having such issues with my contacts. Okay, and then I've been using Honest Primer and Mascara Set for a long time too. I really like it. It makes my, I like the way it makes my eyebrows look. I mean, I like the way it makes my lashes look. I always think like eyebrows and eyelashes can totally transform your face. Like everything else will too, but when you put eyebrows and eyelashes on, it's like you just look a hundred times more put together. That is pretty much it. I use this um, Milani Make It Last SPF setting spray too, and I've liked it so far. I do have, which my girls have gotten into it, but I have this really pretty Maybelline lipstick that I've been putting on too. It is in the color rosy pink and it is such a nice lipstick. Really thick and really moisturizing for a lipstick. And it's a just a pretty little natural light pink, tannish pink that I really, I think it's really pretty. So that is, everything together and that's it that's my that's my face this is my theme park face when i'm not looking like a crawl from under a bridge i'm thinking of straightening my hair though i don't really know why because i know it's gonna end up back in a hair tie because it's supposed to be 91 degrees today so i don't know should i just let it go in these natural like wavy curls or should i straighten it i feel like i should just let it go natural right well i think i am just gonna go ahead and straighten it what the heck why not my straightener that i got is the flower brand from drew barrymore and it's great it's nice and small i haven't tried to like curl my hair with it but i know you can do some curls too so i'm just gonna straighten it out i very rarely straighten my hair Anxiety creeps up on me Is this how it's supposed to feel? Tell me when it's over I got some place that I gotta be Okay, so I'm all done up here and now for uh, wardrobe. I am such a casual person. When I go to the parks, it's usually in a tank top and some shorts or tank top and pants, some jeans. Sometimes I do some leggings. I'm gonna see how I feel about these shorts today.
think this is what we're gonna go with for the day. This is a basic tank top from Walmart, which I love all of their basic tanks. So nice and comfortable and if they like, get destroyed they're super inexpensive i believe like it may have been five dollars or six dollars with taxes i don't know i like to add in one piece of jewelry i love gold jewelry this is from target so it is cheap and fake it will turn don't get wet i do i do need some real gold jewelry i also need some new earrings the shorts are from target they have that distressed look they're high-waisted the extra button these are the universal threads brand at target and they're really comfortable actually to be honest i was starting to outgrow them a little bit before i started getting back in the gym and getting back on this like routine so they're back to thing they're still a little snug i mean i was like kind of pouring out of them again so i really i really like the jeans i i started seeing where people were wearing hip waist jeans again like in hollywood and everything and i'm just thinking oh girl please don't bring that back i don't want that style back i'll take the bell bottoms but don't bring back the wasted you know the low waist pants mm -mm, it ain't cute i don't think it's cute so anyway that's gonna be my look today for animal kingdom i'm just going to finish like brushing my teeth putting deodorant on and then i'm probably just gonna wear sandals today i like wearing birkenstock sandals to the park they form to your feet they're really comfortable to walk in for long periods of time so that'll be the finished completed theme park look for today basic my friends hey get out of your comfort zone it's a blessing in disguise so this is Lane to get ready with me. <laughs> this is her look and it sums her up perfectly. <laughs> Tell us what product she used. <laughs> Something went wrong. Please try again. In the natural light, here it is. It definitely doesn't look as orange as it does like in the bathroom maybe. It's nice coverage. I feel like it's full coverage, but lightweight natural looking that's it for this video stay tuned for the next video and i'll see you guys then